Did you know people used to live in the caves in the Hocking Hills State Park? Hocking Hills is full of history and geology for you and your kids to get excited about. From waterfalls and grist mills to piles of ashes, black hand sandstone, and caves known to house robbers and thieves, Hocking Hills is more than just a beautiful walk in the woods. Here are 10 things you can share to get excited about Hocking Hills and the hikes that will help you discover them for yourself. Let's get started. The Cedar Falls hike has three facts worth sharing. The hike is one of the easiest in the park at only half a mile. Most families can hike this with very little effort or preparation. We even like this hike for dogs. As you hike, take notice of the forest and surrounding trees, including hemlock, beech, oak, sycamore, tulip, white pine, and maple. But we didn't mention cedar. The trees and timber industry were important to the region. Additionally, people came to the region for coal, iron ore, and flint, which is used to create sparks and fire. Early settlers looking to benefit off of Hocking Hills rich resources saw all these cedars and gave it the name Cedar Falls. Unfortunately, most of the trees they saw were hemlocks and the name will probably incorrectly identify the area forever. Later, we'll talk about the caves and the people that once lived there, but as we look at Cedar Falls, we come to number two on our list. Cedar Falls is the most reliable waterfall in the region. So reliable, in fact, a grist mill was constructed and in use during the 1800s. Grist mills are used to grind grain like corn and wheat into flour. The grist mill is no longer here, but the waterfall remains. Number three on our list is that the steps at Cedar Falls are special. To make the hike easier, artist Akio Hizumi designed new steps in 1997. As you leave Cedar Falls, you won't know, but he used his experience in math and architecture to build steps in a way to make it easier to ascend and descend on the trail. The steps are called Democracy Steps for Cedar Falls 1997, and he used the word democracy as his intent of the design was to make the trail easier for everyone. The length of the steps were set so that you can change your leading foot unconsciously to balance the strain between both legs. But the most hidden feature of these steps is that they were built with recycled materials that allow for drainage without erosion and will most likely be in good condition for years to come. And they're probably the best steps you'll discover in Hocking Hills. Another easy hike brings us to number four on our list. Ash Cave got its name in a very simple way. In the 1800s, settlers came to the land and discovered the cave. When they walked in, they noticed a length of ashes long and wide, almost 100 feet long, 30 feet wide, and 3 feet deep inside the cave. They named the area Ash Cave due to this feature. What do you think people were doing with that large pile of ash and the fires that created it? According to the park, the cave was used by Native Americans. An excavation and study of the ashes discovered various materials for fire, animal bones, arrows, pottery, and other items. There are more assumptions of why the ash pile was so high, long, and deep, but this was a perfect natural shelter and could be assumed a great place to handle the activities of life, including preparing food, storing items, sleeping, and more. Ash Cave is the easiest hike in Hocking Hills. Ash Cave is a half mile loop and takes about 30 minutes to explore. As you look at Ash Cave, you may wonder, how tall is Ash Cave? The expanse of the shelter is larger than life and our fifth fact, the U-shaped cave is 700 feet wide, end to end, and 90 feet tall. So Ash Cave is over two football fields in length. From the front lip of the overhang to the back of the cave is about 100 feet. Ash Cave is the largest recessed cave in the entire eastern United States. If you slow down, you'll notice boulders on the ground. If you think a little more, those came from somewhere, probably from above. Now people every day trust that while they're hiking under Ash Cave, a boulder won't fall on them. Just something to think about as you explore the cave. Number six comes from the most popular hike in the park. Old Man's Cave is so popular it has the largest parking lot, which fills up quickly and is also the location of the Hocking Hills Visitor Center. Old Man Cave got its name because an old man actually lived there. Richard Rowe, a hermit, lived in the recessed cave during the early 1800s. A marker provides additional details that he discovered the area with his two hound dogs while he was hunting. He loved the area so much he and his hounds spent the remainder of their lives here living in the cave and surrounding area. The one mile hike to Old Man's Cave is popular for a reason. From the beginning, the trail amazes hikers and it only gets better after that. Upper Falls is the first waypoint, which reveals a wonderful surprise in number seven on our list. The bridge you were just on is actually above the Upper Falls, and this is one of the more photographed spots in Hocking Hills. The bridge above the falls and the pool below, surrounded by black hand sandstone, make it a unique feature of Hocking Hills. But that's just the beginning, as there is another waterfall after Old Man's Cave. But to get there, you get to hike past Devil's Bathtub, which is a cool water feature made better by its memorable name. Improvements have been made to the trail like this cool new step bridge to resemble skipping stones. 
and then this tunnel takes you back to the past leading you to a bridge and Old Main's Cave. But there's more as just a short walk away is Lower Falls. The whole experience of Old Man's Cave and the waterfalls is one and a half miles and about an hour to 90 minutes. The next stop on our list is Conkles Hollow Nature Preserve. Number eight is the Black Hand Sandstone that makes this region possible. We think Conkles Hollow is one of the best hikes in the Hocking Hills. The forest walk frames the sandstone beautifully. Sand from the rising Appalachian Mountains were deposited here by water over millions of years. All the while, pressure was being imposed on the sand. Over time, the sand has been compacted and stuck together to create hard rock. More recently, water has flowed through the region and still does to create the gorges and reveal the stone. This water flowing through Conkles Hollow and the other hikes in the area continue the erosion process today. The Conkles Hollow Gorge Trail is one and a half miles and takes about a half hour to complete. If you're up for more adventure, the Rim Trail is 2.1 miles and takes about an hour and a half to complete. If you are still watching, stay until the end as we have a bonus number 11 fact for you. But first, number nine continues to showcase the people that inhabited the area. Rock House was home to Native Americans. Multiple tribes called the Hocking Hills area home, including nomadic hunters, the Adena culture, Fort H and Indians, and the Wyandotte, Delaware, and Shawnee tribes. You can find their presence at Rock House. This is a short but technical hike that is less than a mile, but has over 200 steps. In the cave, there are ovens carved in the wall and water pits in the floor, built by the inhabitants to prepare food and store fresh water. But pioneers started to settle the region in the early 1800s, and the Rock House became known as Robber's Roost, as it housed criminals and bandits hiding from the law. Seeing an opportunity, Levi Friend in the 1830s constructed a hotel where the picnic pavilion is now. The establishment included 16 rooms, a ballroom post office, and stable. Many of the inscriptions on the Rock House walls are from people who stayed at the hotel. Prohibition may have caused the demise of the hotel and the eventual demolition of the building in the 1920s. Number 10, and maybe most important, is within all the trails and facilities in Hocking Hills and why we have access to all these great experiences. Here we will share with you Cantwell Cliffs. This trail takes a little over an hour to complete and has beautiful forest views in the gorge and on the rim for you to enjoy. The Civilian Conservation Corps improved much of the Hocking Hills trails. The CCC was created by the United States and President Roosevelt during the Depression in 1933. The program was used to improve public lands countrywide and Hocking Hills was a beneficiary. Hundreds of men worked the area and constructed trails, bridges, buildings, parking, and planted trees throughout the park. Company 526 worked on Cantwell Cliffs. The payroll money earned by the CCC was generally forwarded home to the Corman's families, which stimulated the economy and brought the country back out of despair. World War II essentially ended the CCC as these men transitioned into military service. Today, the park is managed by the Ohio DNR. Hocking Hill State Park was created in 1924. Under the park's care is over 25 miles of hiking trails and about a dozen waterfalls. The park is fragmented, meaning it's not one piece of land like most parks. Through the Hocking Hills region, there is over 2,300 acres under state park control. In addition to hiking, people can horseback ride, zip line, rock climb, and rappelling, take off-road tours, and to learn more about Hocking Hills, watch this next. <laughs>